Hey everybody, Cole here with trainwithcole.com and it's time to do another book review. Um, I finished reading this book probably a week and a half to two weeks ago. Um, uh, it was the last book I finished before we moved. Um, and the book is The E-Myth Revisited. All right, so this is a book that I chose to read because of somebody who does online personal training and physique consultation, um, as well as somebody who's getting ready and is in the process of helping start um, uh, a small business, a gym. Um, I knew that I personally needed to understand small business. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and claim that I do, especially after reading just one book. Uh, but this book was recommended to me by somebody in a Facebook group. I remember the phrase said that this book will pay for itself thousands of times over. And again, coming from somebody who does not I haven't started a bunch of small businesses. I haven't, you, you know, done enough of it to have a firm grasp on the practicality. I can absolutely say that I feel like this is going to be a book that's going to do exactly that, pay for itself over and over again. Um, it's a short little book, roughly um, 250 or so pages. I don't think there's a book that I have ever highlighted and marked more in my life. Uh, that's probably because, you know, I'm just learning about business still, um, so there's a lot of things I'm green on. Um, but I know probably at least half of the things I highlighted in here were things that were totally culture-based and how to conduct yourself, um, things that I already enjoy studying, that I have studied for a while. Um, just the idea of... of that anything you do, it's an extension of you, and so who you are is gonna flow into that. In fact, he says in the opening pages, Michael E. Gerber, uh, who's touted as the world's number one small business guru, he says that business is nothing more than an extension of who you are. How you do business is a direct reflection of who you are as a person. And when I think about several people I know who are entrepreneurs and small business per people, and I see how their businesses ha interact and how they do things, I can tell that that's pretty true, um, and so that was really sobering to read. Um, but let's get to the three points and why I believe you should read this book. I definitely recommend this to anybody who's in business at any level, um, but especially if you're getting ready to start your own business or be an entrepreneur. So The E-Myth Revisited is the title of the book, again written by Michael E. Gerber. What is the e-myth? It's really just the collection of ideas and thoughts of how small businesses are run in America today. Um, he doesn't necessarily say there's one thing, but there's a lot of just principle-based stuff. Um, the book is written um, half as like a novel. He tells a story uh, of which he was personally involved in, and then the rest, the other half, is basically teaching. He'll he'll share a concept that he used with a real person with a real business. And then he'll explain that concept. And then he'll show how did it work in that specific person's business, in that, per in that person's industry, um, and how it, it just worked out. Um, so it's definitely an educational book for sure. Um, but the three things uh, that I want to mention that the highlight about this book is number one, I mean, it is packed full of business practices, both simple and complex. I stated earlier that I've highlighted a lot. There's a ton of different just things that the author states that this is how you should do business, these kind of systems you should input, you should conduct yourself in these ways, and just a lot of principles and ideas of, um, of just how to go in, in, into small business and how to do it properly. Um, in tandem with that, the point number two is just the fact that the book preaches values uh, that are required to just be successful in small business. Um, he states that a small business's culture is really um, a product of certain values that are created within a company and then pursued actively. You know, a lot of companies will produce their little core values, but then they, are they being pursued actively? That's something that he challenges. No, most don't. He's stating that great culture in business is when you sit down at the beginning, you, stay, you set out, these are the kind of values we wanna have, but then actually pursuing those. And that kind of ties back into the whole, your business is a direct extension of who you are. Um, because if you're not value driven in those values that you put down, how are you gonna pursue them? You're probably not. And then the third and final point, um, he really, a lot of, there's a lot in here of just teaching you how to work on your business, not in your business. Um, 
the big point he tries to drive home that I think really relates to that is you need to, as the business-minded entrepreneur person who starts a company or whatever you do, um, you need to establish an idea that's worth pursuing to you that you legitimately believe in that doesn't make you feel funny inside when you go to try to market or sell a, a product, a service that you believe in um, and that you believe is worth pursuing, an idea that affects and changes lives. That is, he, as he states, uh, is critical uh, to producing a great and wonderful small business. So that's the book. Um, I highly recommend it. Uh, feel free to shoot me a Facebook message or comment below. Um, if you have any follow up questions, but I really can't speak highly enough about this book. It's something, definitely something I'm going to be referencing and rereading as time goes on for sure. Thanks for watching. G give me a thumbs up if you want. Have a great rest of your day.